I have to direct some of my time to fixing up an old project that we did that is now crumbling apart. With these heavy rains we've been getting, it is collapsed. You're not gonna bury me here, are you? I'm gonna try not to get bit in the face by a rattlesnake. Snake bit. Well, I just made this worse. So this storm is rolling in. I'm gonna have to get this covered and hope for the best. Good morning, y'all. I wish I could say we were doing a full court press at the top of the dome, getting that sealed off. But unfortunately, I have to direct some of my time to fixing up uh, an old project that we did that is now crumbling apart. It's sad to see. It's not built as good as it should be, especially for something underground. It's a wood box we made to house our valve for the cistern. It goes from the cistern over to the house. And with these heavy rains we've been getting, it is collapsing. And we just got another heavy rain, so like it is, it's even in worse shape than it was before. Oh. Oh. I feel like a zombie movie. It's busting out of my grave. Oh. I, I made this with some leftover parts. It's not built to the level it should be at. I know it's built with OSB, so I mean it's dissolving in the ground. It's just, it's not good. So I'm gonna pick up some better materials and you're gonna see how I'm gonna put this all together to make it a much stronger, much more durable box that'll stand the test of time. I just, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to going out spending money, but that's what I gotta do. All right, y'all, let's head out. We're actually gonna load up both dogs in the Tahoe and we're gonna take them on a trip to into town. Uh, it's gonna be a long trip, so we'll see how they uh, get along. Might be like a couple of siblings squabbling. Uh, okay, we got everything. Checklist. I believe so. We got but... water, we got muzzles, we got okay. money, we got... Uh, snacks. Hey, I think this is working out better than anticipated. So we just left Tractor Supply. We had to rent one of their utility trailers. Uh, not a bad price. The trailer we have right now is full of horse dung. <laughs> and I really want to shovel all that out. So yeah, we're trying out a new trailer. Which is nice, it's you know an eight foot bed, so uh, I should just be able to throw everything in there and we should be good to go. Jim just got back from the post office and he came carrying a, a whole bunch of these big boxes and apparently one of our viewers sent us a bunch of things. What all came in here? It's incredible. A lot of dog things, which is great. <laughs> we could <laughs> definitely use any of the dog help that we can. So it looks like two dog beds, kind of like raised dog beds. I like the legs on there. Oh, oh look at the that. paws. <laughs> Elevated pet bowls. This will be nice, especially for outside. This, I'm guessing, is for me. <laughs> <laughs> so a bunch of uh, macrame materials. So I'm excited about that. I can think of some things to do with that. Looks like some supplements. Brewer's yeast. And... I'm thinking the dogs are gonna love this. Monster size femurs. For the monster size dogs. Uh, one of our viewers sent these in, so I mean, thank you so much for these. We could always use a little help when it comes to the dogs and uh, I think they are going to love these. In fact, let's, we should give them the bones and uh, see their reactions. Yeah, you smell it? Oh, he's got to bury it right away. <laughs> Crew's very um, meticulous about his treasures. Are you ready for you? Yeah, I feel like she's going to go nuts. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> oh, 
she loves that. <laughs> oh man. Thanks again for uh, for these amazing dog gifts. Uh, you can tell they, they're uh, they're loving it. <laughs> I can't wait to utilize all the other things. Uh, amazing. Thank you. Well, we are back from the trip and uh, look at this. It's raining, y'all. If it's a light rain like this, that's not a big deal. In fact, uh, I welcome uh, a nice slow rain like this. It's perfect for keeping the uh, plaster moist. It's perfect for keeping any additional uh, cob that just puts up there moist. Look at this, she's already like hard at work feeding the chickens, it's crazy. The chicken's not phased by the rain? No. This is a really good spot for them. It's been dry even during the really heavy rains. Yeah, it didn't flood out at all. So hopefully I can get to work on changing out this box. If we get those harder rains though, it might be a little bit more challenging and it might cause more damage. So I'm hoping I can kind of get down there and get what I need done. So we'll, we'll see. Cross your fingers. You'll be as like in a new bed. <laughs> like it? Yuvia knows how to keep occupied during the heavy rains. <laughs> Get that tape. Get that tape. Look at Jess, hard at work on top of the dome. She's getting it done, y'all. Look at that. Of course, she needs my help getting down from there. That ladder ain't gonna do her no good like that. All right, luckily that was uh, that rain wasn't too heavy. It was just kind of a light sprinkling. So I'm uh, gonna open this up, clear out the cobwebs and the spiders, if any. Then get down in there and start uh, disassembling this whole thing. Almost doesn't feel like it needs much help being disassembled. <laughs> she shocked her up there. Oh, she's doing her business. I feel it's better not to film a lady when she's doing her business. Are you doing your business up there? Should I not be filming you? Oh, well, I'm not doing that kind of business. <laughs> are you uh, are you patching up those bags exposed on the side? Yes. And I'm also kind of filling that gap between the dome and the eaves. Oh, are you? Oh, that's cool. So change of plans. I am not going to jump down there just yet. I'm going to start taking this apart up here and just see how everything goes. I don't want to climb down there, start taking things apart and then have this collapse on me. Now watch Yuvia come and knock over the ladder or something. She found something in the bushes. Keeping an eye on her? <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on you. She thinks we can't see her, but we can see her. Well, as you can see, I've been busy here, pulling out uh, little chunks as I can. It's, of course, it's been more difficult doing this than I thought. Isn't that always the way it goes? But since it's collapsed, I can't reach some of the fasteners. So I'm actually just kind of taking the sledgehammer and breaking this all apart. Yui. Yui, what you doing up there? I got almost half of this box out of the ground. It is, it has been a challenge because, well, I'll show you what's going on here. It is just sinking into the ground as I remove some of these pieces. Look at it. Oh, ho, 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 it's crazy. Big old hole in the ground. But it's almost there. I got a couple more pieces I gotta get out of there. And then I'm gonna have to do some digging. I'm gonna have to widen this up and square it up. And it's still a lot of work. I'm gonna continue busting this apart. Just, just got done telling me it looks like a grave and I, I'd be hard to disagree with her on that. <laughs> 
It does look kind of gravish. You're not going to bury me here, are you? Last board, same as the first. Or not. I'm on top of the dome here. I've been doing some patchwork, fixing up any exposed areas of bags where the cob has washed away. I'm also filling in gaps between the dome and the eaves. And what that will do is when it rains, the water can run off the top of the dome and just onto the eaves instead of going into those gaps and then it might affect the cob on the lower portion of the dome. So I think that'll really help protect that. Of course, every time it rains, a little bit of the cob washes away slowly. So once I finish this up, I'm gonna go back and start applying more of the lime render over the cob. So that will weatherproof it and protect it from the rainstorms. There's been a lot of repairs, patching things up, and unfortunately that's going to be kind of a thing that we have to do during the rainy season until we can kind of get this uh, situated as far as waterproofing and whatnot. I know a lot of people have been throwing in suggestions about like wrapping the house in plastic or putting some type of stucco on there. You know, we're not really looking for like a quick kind of thing. Yeah, and we're thinking about long-term, I guess, integrity of the house. We really think that the lime is not, will not only be stronger than a lot of these options, but also it'll work with the earthen bill. That's the most important thing, like what is compatible with that, and that's going to determine like how well it holds up in weather like this and how long it holds up. All right, so we're looking good. The walls really held up a lot better than I thought they would. Of course, there is quite a bit down here, probably a little over a foot worth of dirt that fell in there. Probably a couple feet of material over on this side. I definitely got quite a bit of shoveling to do, but it's pretty loosely packed. I should be able to get all this out. Then once I'm cleared, I could just check to see if there's any damage to the pipe down there. And if not, I should be good to go on building some new walls and getting a much better box built, which I should have done a long time ago. But that's what happens when you let a project go that you need to redo, or maybe you do it right the first time. I really don't know what I was thinking when I put this together. It was really put together pretty shoddily, obviously made with leftover materials and I knew I needed to redo it and I just let it go for too long and this is where I am at. Oh my god. I'm glad I didn't just jump in there. Hey rattlesnake. Man, that thing is big. Thick. Well, I'm glad I didn't just jump into this hole right away. <laughs> it's a giant rattlesnake crawling out of the cistern over here. There's a big hole over here, and I wonder if that if it was living in there, like in the ground. That thing's massive. Oh. oh no, not there! Oh no! Uh, that's not good. Snake pit. Well, I just made this worse. Daddy! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's going right here. <laughs> well, there's an adventure for you. I'm just gonna kind of scout real quick for a place to put the rattlesnake. I usually like to find a place where there's kind of like a hole in the ground, and usually that's not too hard to find. Well, I didn't see any holes in the ground, but this looks like it might be as good a spot as any. There's Small bush here, plenty of grass where it can hide and maybe get some shade. I usually do this with Jess, so being out here by myself, 
más. But it's the space to get out of there. It's happy to leave. <laughs> Well, people say you shouldn't move rattlesnakes because it's a kind of a death sentence for them, but uh, personally I'd like to try and relocate it and give it a fighting chance. Maybe it'll live, maybe it won't, but obviously I can't have it right next to my face while I'm working and and I don't really want to kill it outright, you know, just let it give it its chance. So, all right, <laughs> now to get back to work. Well, I'm back from getting that snake taken care of. Well, that was an interesting distraction. I think uh, rattlesnakes usually come as a surprise. Meanwhile, I still got a ways to dig. I think I'm just basically right above the pipe. Meanwhile, Jess is hard at work on top of the dome. She's knocking it out up there. Hey, girl! <laughs> she ain't got time for camera stuff. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get down in this trench. Hopefully, I don't get bit in the face by a rattlesnake. And uh, let's get this done, y'all. I'm gonna try not to get bit in the face by a rattlesnake. Okay, good. So I'm making good progress. There's actually been uh, a lot of digging, more than I expected. And there could be some more still, but you can see the bottom of the valve box. Now, for people that have been watching our channel, maybe not that long, this of course is the valve box that's gonna allow us to get water from the cistern over to the house. It should just gravity feed in there. So this might be the first time you're seeing the pipe in the valve so exposed like this. It's something I don't think we ever really show. So everything's been uncovered, uh, looking pretty good. I got some, uh, I had some plywood down there, which I actually am kind of glad that I put that down there so I kind of knew where to uh, stop and I could kind of just scrape up some of the muddy dirt down there and get that good to go. So I'm just gonna take some measurements. I might have to scrape away at the walls a little bit, whatever might have collapsed down from up above. That way I can get my new walls in there. Hey, be careful. There's a rattlesnake here earlier. Be careful, Yuvi. I should be careful too. I haven't been watching for some rattlesnakes. She might be weirded out that I'm in the hole. Yuvi, it's raining. Clouds are coming and I'm feeling rain already, so uh, I'm gonna have to get this covered and hope for the best. Hopefully, if we get a decent amount of rain, this will keep too much water from getting in and collapsing the hole for the box. So this storm is rolling in. Dang, I wish I could have finished my box, but I gotta put everything away, make sure it doesn't get rained on, and uh, we'll see how much rain we get. Oh, look at that lightning. Good morning. Well, we did get a rainstorm last night, but I don't think it was a huge one. We got about two tenths of an inch of rain. I know other people in the area actually got hit pretty hard with a lot of wind, a lot of rain. So we avoided that. And usually I'm a big fan of getting quite a bit of rain, but since I am trying to put this box in the ground and I am not looking to dig out 
a bunch of more dirt, I'm okay if this didn't get a ton of rain and then like collapsed on me. So I'm out here, I'm gonna finish up this box real quick or as quick as I can. And hopefully this thing will be set for a while. Let's build these walls, y'all. All right, so I'm back out here, ready to cut more metal. I'm switching from the angle grinder to the saw here. And I think that'll give me a much better cut than I was getting with the angle grinder. This doesn't seem to work super well for the corrugated metal. All right, I got all my metal cut. Now let's start attaching it to these boards and let's get them in place. I got my metal placed on the board and I was gonna place corrugated metal all around each of the sides. And then I will place the seam so that should any water runoff, it can't go up into there so it won't get in behind there. So I think this will be a pretty good system, much better, at least much better than it was. I'm also gonna use these roofing screws, which should also seal it where I'm fastening it to the board. These sides are gonna be a little trickier because these sides will go over the pipe. So to get it a lot more accurate, I'm gonna use the old boards and trace the pipe holes onto the new boards. Well, I'll tell you, Jess, this isn't light with the plywood and then the metal on it. So I got all my panels put together. They're ready to go. Now I'm about to uncover the pit. And uh, I know we got a bunch of rain last night, so we'll see if that did anything to the walls or if I gotta do some digging again. Let's uncover it and we shall see. Let's make sure there are no rattlesnakes under here. <laughs> oh, one of those little toads. Everything's looking pretty good down there. I wonder where that toad went to. Probably buried itself. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. There he is. All right, so Jess is going to help me put these walls down in here. But I imagine first she's going to want to do help me do a toad rescue. So I will jump down there to get the toad. Come on, toadling. Got you. Oh, got you. <laughs> okay, you got it? There we go. It's coming at you. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! Okay, you ready? Do I have it? <laughs> we we got it. Where do uh, I, that's the thing. It? Where do you gonna where do you want it? <laughs> Guess it'll find its way. Well, from snakes to toads, <laughs> it's a virtual wild kingdom over here. Maybe we'll have to. Uh, you take one side, I'll take the other side, and we'll drop it in. I'm gonna have to work some magic here, obviously. It's not gonna go super smooth, is it? Never does. I mean, maybe I have to just cut one of these panels down a little bit, because I'm, I'm tired of digging. <laughs> it's been a lot of digging, y'all. Uh, I'm anxious to put this little project behind us, and hopefully we'll have something a lot sturdier than what was there before. You know, I saw Black Widow eggs. Oh, look what's down there now. Oh, oh, oh. That thing is huge. How'd it get down there? Can't believe we found another little toad in the pit. It's not moving. Why isn't it moving? Go be a toad. Go be a toad. Go be a toad.
Good morning. Man, it is beautiful out here. The sun isn't quite yet over the mountains. It's a lot of clouds. I'm getting very near the end of this project. And it has been a project. I didn't kind of knew it would be. I got all the panels ready. They're in the ground. <laughs> now it'll just be getting them assembled, getting everything nice and tight, and then uh, getting it all sealed up. Where are you going with that bone? What are you trying to do with that bone? <laughs> well, it took a lot of finagling, but I'm finally there. I got all four of the sides into the ground. Everything's fitting over the pipe. <laughs> Everything's fitting along the sides. And now it's just getting things secured. I got these posts to support the corners. Then I'll support the side walls with some two by fours and then brace that again with some more posts. So man, I'm almost there. I knew this was gonna be a project. Took more time and energy than even I thought it was. And I thought it was gonna take a bunch of time and energy. All right, y'all. The box is almost done. You can see I got bracing all up along the sides. Got basically ribs going along each of the walls. And now I'm gonna place couple of posts going from going in the middle and down toward the bottom to help brace up the two sides and then I'll be done here. So I got some braces in the middle. That board could be a little straighter but <laughs> everything else is looking pretty good. The ribs are in, the braces are in. I just need a cover for this now and I got to do it quick because we could be getting more rain. I don't want it to ruin all my work. I covered it up but uh, it's gonna rain here soon so I'm gonna have to do the cover either probably tomorrow. Man, this project's taking way longer than I anticipated. I gotta work around the weather. Yumi, come on. We gotta go inside. So the storm's really coming down. I'm, uh, I'm hanging outside with Yumi. Keep her company. <laughs> Especially in case things get too crazy out here. Uh, we're gonna need to keep her dry. And uh, so I might need to retreat to the Tahoe or something like that. But uh, we'll see. It's not too bad so far. All right, y'all, the lid is done. Just a really quick, simple little frame. And then I threw some metal on top. Okay, so you can see I just took a little simple sheet of plywood. And then I attached some 2x4s. That'll give it a little grip inside the box there. If some wind does try and come pick it up, I think these will kind of brace it on the inside a little bit and it'll add some weight. There's clearly a storm rolling in, so I'm gonna get this cover up there quick and then I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing from here. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking nice. All right, so the lid's in place. I think this is looking fantastic. Hey, Jess. So for people asking what that wire is for, <laughs> you can clearly see now what uh, Jess has in mind for it. Hey Jess, the storm's rolling in. I had uh, finished what you're doing quick. What do you think of my new box and the lid? It's pretty sturdy. I think this will uh, last a little bit longer than the uh, the other one. Hard worker over here. Good job up there. Bam. Spider lady. Daredevil. Good morning, y'all. Yuvi and I are out for a little morning stroll. We actually had about three tenths of an inch of rain last night. Uh, I'm gonna just check out quick how everything's looking with the box, but uh, it looks pretty good just from the outside. And uh, I think it's looking pretty good. I think this will hold up a lot better underground than it did before. I'm gonna start backfilling this dirt into those sides and I'm actually gonna start mounding it up. I'll mound the dirt in a way so that when the water does kind of flow to the box, it'll actually kind of like move around it.
All right, y'all, so I'm done moving earth. I'm done digging, putting all that dirt back. I think it's looking pretty good, but we'll get the boss out here to see what she thinks. Jess is out here. And uh, so tell me, what do you think? Uh, I kind of shaped some of the dirt around here. I even dug a little deeper just to get more dirt sort of mounded around the edges over there. I mounded it up between the box and the cistern. Yeah, I think that looks good. That'll be good to make sure everything slopes away from the box. Okay, so uh, no more dirt that needs to get moved or anything? I don't think so, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. I mean, it always uh, always a little bit of observation and seeing how any of my works and my, my needs get changed a little bit but so far so good huh? and i'm feeling some raindrops right now oh it could rain any minute so we'll test it out but uh it's kind of funny uh thinking about what was there before just this like nasty wooden box in the ground and how I, I never really even got to finish sort of like the uh, actual cover for it I just stuck another piece of uh, board right on top, so I'm sure I wasn't keeping a ton of water out, but this, I mean, like a nice little metal box and a big metal roof for the box. It's like a little house for the, <laughs> the valve. <laughs> this was a little pricey to put together, but I think it should stand the test of time. So we just got a huge rainfall, one inch of rain, and uh, I just want to show you the results of all this work that we did out here. Let's check the box quick. So it looks like this is okay. Looks like the dirt didn't collapse anywhere here. Let's see what looks inside here. Hey, hey, hey. It looks pretty dry down there. I mean, it's still like wet, but uh, it was wet before. But with like an inch of rain, I would think that, you know, it'd be pretty nasty down there. Looks to me like it did its job. What do you think? <laughs> Just agrees. Now this is cool. So of course, Jess did a lot of work uh, sealing up the gap between the dome and the eaves. This IVC tote that we put over here is just kind of like to catch a little bit of water off the dome. Completely filled to overflowing. That is crazy. About 150 gallons we can use for building. UV gone wild. She's got some energy. She <laughs> she's got some energy she needs to work out. I think she's thoroughly killed that thing. Well, it's a shame that I had to kind of go in there and tear everything out. Glad the pipe was okay. Yeah. You know, and then uh, I just got to put some handles on there yet. Sometimes it's like, I think we got a few of those projects around here that we're always thinking, oh, we'll go back yeah. and kind of like fix it up or anything like that. Or whatever. We're always moving on to the next project and we never circle back to some of those older ones. Right, well I think once we started on the house that's been our main focus for quite a long time. <laughs> so like all these other smaller projects that we started before kind of. Kind of get pushed off to the wayside but we'll have to revisit some of these. Uh, obviously yeah, the house is super important and we need to kind of keep moving on that and we're getting there slowly but surely. It's just the two of us remember. UV and crew aren't actually that big of a help despite the energy that Yuvia has. All right, y'all. So thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on the next video. Later. Bye.